Hi guys, so in this video, ang topic natin is work by integration. So the concept of work is that work is equal to force times distance. So this will be our concept for this topic. So the first application of work that we are going to discuss is the work done by a spring. So yung spring natin meron siyang original length, say L. Then, if you apply a force on that spring, tension, it will elongate for a distance x. Now, work is equal to force times distance. Well, in terms of derivative, we can say that differential of work is equal to force differential of distance. Let's say differential of x. So, in terms of derivative. So, in springs, we have a concept what we call the spring constant k. So, the spring constant k is actually the force per unit of elongation. So, if you apply a force, it will elongate at a certain distance x. So, therefore, f is equal to kx. Then, we substitute it here. So, differential work is equal to, you have force that is kx dx. Then, k is a constant. So, integrating both sides, we have work equal, so k integral of x dx from yung elongation natin x1 to x2 then yung elongation natin which is the x1 and x2 ang reference point niya of course is yung original length so we have here work is equal to you have k power formula that is x squared all over 2 from x1 to x2 so this will be our formula in a work done by a spring so let's apply this formula. So find the work done in stretching a spring of a natural length of 10 cm from 12 cm to 15 cm. 8 newtons is needed to hold it at a length of 12 cm. So the length of the spring that is the original length is 10 cm. So x1 natin, that is the initial elongation will be, that is from 12 to 15 cm. So if you have 10 as your reference point, if the elongation is 12 cm, therefore the change in distance is 2 cm. So x1 is, we have here 12 cm minus 10 cm. So that is 2 centimeters. Then the final elongation x sub 2. x sub 2 will be a total length of 15 cm. Therefore the change in elongation will be 15 cm minus the reference uh, length will be the 10 centimeters. So, x sub 2 will be, you have 5 cm. So, this will be our limits. Now, assume a force of 8 newtons is needed to hold it at a length of 12 cm. Therefore, yung k natin is force over the elongation. So, assume a force of 8 newtons is needed to hold it at a length of 12 cm. So, if our reference length is 10 cm, so the total length is 12 cm. Therefore, the elongation is you have here 12 cm minus 10 centimeters. So k will be, you have 8 newtons all over. So this is 2 cm. So that is 4 newtons per cm. So you apply natin yung formula. I derived natin lately. We have here work equals, so that is 1 half k. So x sub 2 squared minus x sub 1 squared. So you apply na natin yung limits. So we have here 1 half k. So k is so 4. So x sub 2 will be 5. So 5 squared minus x sub 1. That is 2 squared. So work is we have here 2 times so 25 minus that is 4. So 21 times 2. So that is 42. So unit so newton per cm. So this will become newton cm kasi this is squared so newton cm times cm squared so newton cm but our unit in our choices is joule so we need to convert this to newton meter so that is equivalent to joule so work equals so 42 newton cm so multiply to our conversion so that will become so 1 meter so that is 100 centimeters so cancel yung centimeter you have 42 divided by 100. So that is 0.42 Joule or 
newton meter. So, joule na siya. So, 0.42 joule. So, that is letter C. So, yung next application natin, guys, is work done in pumping. So, for example, meron tayo ditong uh, conical tank. So, cone siya. So, same lang, guys, yung formula natin. That is work equals force times distance. Then, in fluids, we have a concept what we call the specific weight. So, specific weight will be the force per unit of volume. So, that is the weight or force per unit of volume. So, therefore, you have F as a specific weight times volume. So, we have here work. So, in terms of derivative, we can say that differential work equals. So, yung force natin here, guys, is varying because you have here a varying volume. So, differential of force times distance. So, yung distance natin, guys, say H na lang, H, is the distance from the centroid of the fluid. This is a centroid. To where it should be pumped. Let's say distance H. There are problems that it is uh, pumped at a certain distance above the top of the tank but sometimes it is just pumped at the top of the tank so let's say h so the reference point of your height here of course will be the centroid of your fluid so yung centroid na guys yung reference point natin so we have here differential of force so differential of work equals so here what varies is the volume because we have here a uh, varying shape. So, why differential of volume? So, this is the differential force. So, if you differentiate here both sides, this will become differential of force equals. So, y differential of volume. So, yung y natin here, that is the specific weight. So, specific weight times h. So, we integrate both sides. We have work equals. So, specific weight is constant. It depends on the fluid which should be pumped outside of the tank. You have here specific weight integral of, you have here H differential of volume. So, yung limit natin here depends on the height of the fluid. So, yung limit depends on the height of the fluid in the tank. So, yun ang limit natin guys. And H here depends on your distance of the centroid to where it should be pumped. Specific weight that is integral of h dv so let's say h1 to h2 so this will be our concept and yung differential volume natin guys here is the topic we have discussed before so in this first problem guys we have how much work is required to pump all the water from a right circular cylinder tank 9 foot tall and 8 feet in diameter if it is emptied at a point 1 foot above the top of the tank water is actually pumped one foot above the tank. So, dito siya ipapump. So, this is one foot height. So, the fluid in the tank, that is water. So, H2O tayo. So, the specific weight of water, by standard, that is, in English tayo kasi, our given is in English. So, that is 62.4 pound force per cubic foot. Work equals, so the integral of, so specific weight, differential of volume, times yung height natin from the centroid to the top where it should be pumped. So, let's say the height of the centroid from the base of the cylinder, let's say it is y at y distance. Now, so the distance from the centroid to the top where it should be pumped is equal to you have here. So, if this is 9, so this is 10. This is height 10. So, therefore, this height here from the centroid is 10 minus so this y so distance y from the base to the centroid of the cylinder so work equals so integral of specific weight natin is 62.4 so ilalabas natin yung constant so work equals so 62.4 integral of so differential of volume natin guys so ang strip natin here is horizontal so this is our radius x so this will be our differential of y so if we rotate this here makabuo tayo ng cylinder din so that is pi so base times high tayo area of base so that is pi times radius x squared times height nya thickness dy times h 
Yung H natin dito guys is distance of the centroid of the fluid to the top of the tank where it should be pumped. So that is 10 minus Y. So in here guys, ang X natin which is the radius is constant siya. So cylinder kasi if cylinder constant yung radius niya all throughout the height. So that is 4. So yung radius niya is 4 feet kasi yung diameter is 8. You have here work equal so 62.4. So yung pi ilabas na natin, pi then yung 4 squared ilabas na din natin so 4 squared. So 4 is the radius so constant siya. You have here integral of so 10 minus y differential of y. So yung limit natin is the fluid in the tank. So yung fluid in the tank guys is full siya. So therefore it is from 0 to 9. So this is at height 9. So 0 to 9. So you can use your calculator or you can perform this power formula. So you have here guys so 155 260. Answer natin guys is in terms of pi. So i-divide natin sa pi para makuha natin yung multiplier nya. So this will become so 49421 So work equal. So 49421 So that is pi. So unit is of course English tayo guys that is foot pound force. Now alternate solution tayo. As I have mentioned before that work is actually equal to your force times distance. So, yung distance natin is the uh, distance of the centroid of the fluid to where it should be pumped. So, yung force natin is specific weight times volume. So, here, meron tayong cylinder. So, ang force natin is equal to. So, you have specific weight. So, 62.4 that is pound force per cubic foot. Times ang volume natin. So, cylinder siya. So, pi d squared over 4 so that is the area of the base so yung diameter natin is at least 8 feet squared all over 4 times yung height natin na 9 feet so by dimensional analysis this is pound force so force natin is equal to so this is 28229 0 0.095 so this is pound force then so we have here our tank. So the centroid of the tank, of course, is at one half. So if this is nine, so this distance, the centroid, cylinder, siya kasi. So this is four point five. So if it is pumped one meter at height one meter above the top of the tank, this is one. So therefore, the total height where it should be pumped is 4.5 plus 1 foot. So that is equal to 5.5 feet. So our work is equal to, so you have force 28229.095 pound force times yung height natin. That is from the centroid, so 5.5 feet. So work equals, so same answer tayo guys, 155.260. Or, in terms of pi siya, so divide natin sa pi, so that is 49421, 49421 pi, so that is pound force feet, so foot pound force. So let's solve guys, next problem tayo. So in this next problem guys, we have a 5 meter high conical tank, it has a radius of 2 meters, and is filled with a liquid of 800 kilogram force per cubic meter, so yun ang specific weight niya. So, how much work is done in pumping the liquid at a point 3 meters above the top of the tank? You have your conical tank naman siya guys. So, cone. So, yung height niya. So, that is 5 meters. Then, ang radius niya. Top radius is 2 meters. So, of course, ang work natin, that will become force times the distance. So, work equals... So that is specific weight integral of differential of volume times height. Now, height natin guys is the distance from the centroid to where it should be pumped. So yung height natin, height of pumping is, you have here 3 meters above the top of the tank. So dito ang discharge nya. So if the centroid of the tank is at distance y, 
at distance y with respect to the bottom of the tank here. So, ito distance y siya. Let's assume na yung height of the centroid from the bottom of the tank is at distance y. Therefore, this distance from the centroid to the top where it should be pumped is we have here 5 plus 3. So, this is 8. So, this distance will become 8 minus itong y. So, this distance. So, itong h sa formula natin, guys, is the distance from the centroid of the fluid to the point where it should be pumped. So, yung differential volume natin is taken from our differential strip. So, ito yung differential strip natin. So, this is horizontal. So, this is differential of y and this is x. So, i-rotate natin here. So, makabuo tayo ng cylinder shape. So, ang volume niya is you have here pi. So, same lang ng process natin when it comes to volume by integration. But here, wala tayong uh, x right minus x left or yung distance of the radius ng strip because we don't have curves here. So, itong simple uh, figure lang siya. We have here pi x squared differential of y. Then, kuha natin yung x in terms of y because we have here differential of y na uh, variable. So, in terms of y, dapat yung x para isang variable lang in the right side. So, you, you use ratio in proportion. So, this top, so this is 2, radius nya 2, then height nya is 5. So, this is x and this height is y. So, by ratio in proportion, we can say that so, x over y equals, we have here, 2 over 5. Therefore, x equals so 2 fifths y. Now, i-substitute lang natin, then we integrate. So, tapos na yung solution natin. Then, of course, yung limit natin is the height of the fluid. So, puno siya full tank. Therefore, from 0 to 5. We have here, work equals, so integral. So, here guys, ang pointers lang natin is course, ito, yung distance h, which is the distance from the centroid to the point where it should be pumped. So, dito lang tayo mga careless. Then, of course, using the ratio in proportion. And ito, guys, the concept of this is yung previous topic natin, area of the base times height. So, ito, guys, kung makapansin natin, connected yung mga previous discussion as we go along our topic. So, kailangan natin ma-practice yung mga previous topics natin. So, work is equal to the integral of specific weight. Ilabas na natin. So, work equals so specific weight. So, differential volume times h. So, specific weight, integral of differential of volume natin is have here pi x squared dy. But h is, you have here 8 minus y. Then, x is integral of pi. So, yung x natin is in terms of y na siya. So, 2 fifths y. So, that is squared differential of y. So, this is 8 minus y. So, this is equal to, so yung mga constant, ilabas na natin. So, this is 800 given. So, this is pi. Then, 2 fifths squared. So, that is 4 over 25. So, times 4 all over 25. So, this is the integral of. So, yung y squared, i-multiply na natin dito. So, y squared times 8. So, 8y squared. Minus y cube. So, differential of y. So, ang limit natin is from 0 to 5. So, the height of the fluid. Then, ito, automatic. Calcule na lang siya. Of course, power formula yan. We have here 68,000 pi all over 3. So, yung answer natin guys, in terms of pi siya. So, yung 68,000 over 3 is 22667. So, that is letter B. So, 22667 pi kilogram meter. So, ito yung answer natin. Letter B siya. So, yung work equals, so, 22667. So, pi. Unit is kilogram force meter. Now, alternate solution tayo guys. So, the reason why gamitan natin siya ng integral is because of the centroid. So, you cannot easily find the centroid. So, using your alternate solution by formula, 
So the distance of the centroid of this volume from the base of the cylinder is, so let's say y, so that is h over 4, where h is the height of the cylinder, in this case 5 sha 5. So if this is the centroid, so the, t the distance from the top of the cone to the centroid will become, so h over 4, so this is 5 fourths. Now the distance to where the fluid will be pumped is at height 3 meters above the tank. So therefore the total height or distance, so work is force times distance. So in this case distance is, you have here 5 fourths plus you have here the height 3 meters. So ipapump siya at height 3 meters above. So therefore yung total height, the distance from the centroid to the top where it should be pumped is 5 fourths plus tong 3 meters. So this is 4.25. So, meron tayong distance guys. So, good na yan. So, yung force na lang. So, force is specific weight times volume. So, specific weight given siya volume. Of course, volume ng cone. So, force equals. So, specific weight 800 times volume. So, one third. So, cone siya. One third area of the base times yung height niya. So, discuss natin to in uh, solid geometry. So, you have here 800 over 3. So, area of the base is circle siya. So, ang radius nito is 2 meters. So, this is pi times 2 squared. So, pi r squared times height na 5 meters. So, isimplify natin to. So, force equals, so this is 16,000 pi all over 3. Then, we apply this. So, work force times distance. So, pag multiply lang natin yung dalawa. So, dapat equal siya sa 2267. 2267 pi kilogram meter. So, work equal. So, force is 16,000 pi all over 3. Distance natin is 4.25 meters. So, work equals. So, times 4.25. So that is equal to, of course, 68,000 pi all over 3. Unit niya is kilogram force meter. So itong 68,000 pi all over 3 can be uh, expressed as we have here. So 68,000 divided by 3. So that is 22667 pi kilograms meter. So, this is our answer. So, yung lesson dito guys is, mas madali siya i-solve using yung mga formulas. But, of course, you need to memorize them. So, it's also important for you to know the concept of integration. Of course, if you forgot the formula, meron ka pa uh, plan B. So, ganun yung discard natin guys. So, that's it. I hope that you have learned from this topic. So, yung mga pointers lang guys, ulitin natin. Of course, yung formula mo will start to the basic concept of work. Work is equal to force times distance. Now, yung force natin is your specific weight ng fluid times volume. Kasi by definition, you have the specific weight is equal to the weight of the fluid all over the volume of the fluid. Now, yung distance natin, of course, the distance from the centroid to where it should be pumped. Those are the pointers in solving for these types of problem. So, ito nga guys, yung last topic natin sa integral. In my next topic, I will be starting our differential equation. So, see you guys in my next video. Stay safe and God bless. Thank you for supporting this channel.